Hello dear traders, my last videos gave you a deeper insight into my approach. In today's post we will talk about getting started with algorithm profiling, analyzing the pros and cons, and how you can potentially use this information for yourself. Basically, I would like to emphasize once again that I do not claim to be correct, as it is only my personal opinion. A trading setup always requires an individual approach that every trader has to find for himself. The stock market is over 600 years old and during that time millions of different approaches have been tried to beat the market. So far, nobody has managed to do this and that will probably not change for the next 600 years. The reason for this is simple, because the world's greatest players are always one step ahead of retail traders. On the one hand, this is due to the fact that they are in the market every day with a large team, use the best technology and move the greatest capital in the process. A retailer is not organized, works with simple technology and does not have a lot of capital. These are two completely different worlds that also require different ways of working and therefore it is very clear that most retail traders do not know how the big players work. It is frivolous to believe that with little experience, a laptop and indicators, you stand a chance against these big players. The fact that so many retail traders lose is not because they are incompetent, but rather because they do not know who they are actually trading against. You sit in front of your laptop at home and watch the candles move up or down. Very few have any idea what is actually going on in the background at the banks. These big players from large banks and institutions are very professionally positioned. Countless traders sit in air-conditioned rooms with the latest screens supported by an armada of analysts. All information comes together in a central location, where the strategies are distributed as individual orders to the different traders. And we all know only too well that an army is always stronger than a single person. Thus, retail traders' losses are primarily due to the fact that most of them overestimate themselves. In addition, there is the fact that the internet leads us to believe that it is an illusory world that does not actually exist. You only ever see the profits and successes that the individual traders achieve with ease. As soon as you start trading yourself, you realize how difficult it is and quickly start to doubt yourself. It was no different for me, but I had the advantage that at the beginning of my full-time activity as a trader, I was not dependent on income. That took the pressure off me to work with disproportionately high risks. It is known that 90% of Forex traders lose their money. 5% are break-even and the remaining 5% win more than they lose. For this reason, trading is not about winning at the beginning, but rather about losing as little as possible. In our upbringing, we are trained to be a winner, which is why very few admit that they make losses on the stock market. Unfortunately, the laws on the stock exchange are a little different than in normal life. Losing is the order of the day here and that is completely normal. For this reason, a trader's focus should be primarily on breaking even. When you break even, you win money and lose it again, but overall you don't slide into the red. When you consider that only 10% of all traders are in or above break even, it should be clear to everyone how difficult trading actually is. Still, it can be learned like any decent job, but don't forget how long it takes to learn a real job. So if you lose as much money as you win in the long term, you belong to the 10% of the best retail traders in the world. And those who win more than they lose in the long run belong to a small minority of 5%. By the way, only 2.5% of traders can make a living from their earnings. And that alone already proves that trading successfully is anything but easy. And anyone who claims the opposite has been very lucky or is just a trading coach. I started trading in the Forex market 11 years ago. Since this market does not provide any information about ask and bid, volume or deltas, I would like to call this type of trading a walk in the dark. Getting started in this market is indeed a huge challenge and I admire any trader who breaks even in this market. Since the profit rates in the futures market are three times higher, a beginner would actually have to start there in order to switch to the forex market as a professional with stock market data. But mostly it's the other way around. Many start in the toughest market in the world and fail to achieve their goals. For me, the future market is like driving a cart and the forex market is Formula One. 
Of course, theoretically you can also learn in a Formula 1 vehicle, but it is much more difficult than starting with karting. I do not want to denigrate the Forex or future market here, after all, I work in both markets at the same time. You will find a lot of information about this in my videos. Regardless of which market you choose. The most important point is to understand how the big players operate. And that has nothing to do with an indicator. Most of the indicators are derived from the price, so in the end, they don't show more than the candle itself. Since the indicators are lagging, this even means that the information often comes a little later. Retail traders never move the markets when they enter because they never enter at the same time. But they move the markets when they are stopped out by the big players, since their stop zones are always similar. Exactly for this reason, these stops are a crucial feature in order to increase your trading efficiency. This factor can be read out well with my bionic candle and important key zones can be created from it. For this I have just started a project in which each of you can participate. You can find information about this in my video, New Big Player Strategies. At the beginning I also looked for different patterns, but with the data that is made available in the Forex market it is very difficult. Likewise, there are no patterns in the DOM, the TNS, or in the volume. With the bionic candle we can find the key candles, but then we still don't know how far these key candles will go and when the course will turn again. With my self-created limits delta orders, I can clearly see what the big players are collecting, but I don't know exactly when they will start pushing the price in their profit direction. The samples within the spoofing give me more information about what is happening in the market. The limit orders placed on the market are anything but the truth, because stacking or pulling means that they are added or subtracted within seconds during spoofing. For this I have programmed my own tones in the 1 millisecond range, which give me additional important information. There, too, there are clear pattern sequences that appear again and again in certain situations. Since the algorithms are responsible for placing the limit and market orders and combine them with one another, algorithms that run the same time and again take place within a trading sequence. Thus there are also clear patterns in the algorithms that can be analyzed and read out with a little experience. This is not a holy grail either, but it often brings a clear market advantage above average. Now you just have to combine these things with each other. In such a way that a clear map emerges that shows the retailer where the market is currently. This enables you to react before the small breakouts. You can also find a good example of this in my video, Reasons for Trading Algorithms. The prerequisites for dealing more closely with trading algorithms are first of all the appropriate technical equipment, which, with some knowledge, can be set up for 4,000 euros. It is important that the entire system is precisely tailored to the setup, otherwise it will be expensive. In addition, one need an internet with very good ping times, a cheap forex broker that is precisely tailored to the stock market data, special stock market software with individually programmed chart views, a sound card with specially programmed tones and corresponding loudspeakers for the 1 millisecond tones. The next step is to understand how the big players operate and why they work the way they work. This procedure not only has to be clearly understood, but also recognized on the screen in the long term. Time and again, different situations arise in the market that can be clearly identified. With the help of the bionic candle you are able to calculate a possible trade in advance. This is precisely what is important with regard to the probability of winning in combination with the RRR. To do this, you first have to train very intensively and you need clear guidelines. With special tools you can see how far you are from your break-even point. With the then individually compiled setup, the goal is to complete 10,000 trades until you have reached your break-even point. As a minute scalper, this is not a problem either, as you can do up to 40 trades in the evening as part of your job. In addition to all these factors, it must be ensured that the loss from these 10,000 trades does not exceed 500 euros. We will talk about all of these things in great detail over the next few months. A decisive point, why I have also concentrated more on algorithm trading in the area of seconds scalping, is the above average profit rate, which makes the new trader tax reasonably bearable. If you want to learn more about these things, I am happy that you are there. I now wish you a nice week and a lot of success in the trade. Best regards Michael.